Brian of Leicester, known it, known <laughs> otherwise. Or, on the mark. Yes. Hi. Hey. Ah! <laughs> and evil school bunnies we've never seen again. Whoops, uh, wrong script. <laughs> but yeah, Brian of Leicester, uh, Maestro Pelicani, 24th of the Apple Mark line. Um, better known in more several corners of the known world as Scoop, journalist of eight long ago journalist of the Penzik Daily Tide. There was the year, yep, the year was three years ago when after my wife's tragic demise, uh, I went to my the Ritter Hill Baronial Championships. It was and it was one of those things that having that what I referred to as a de Bergerac moment where suddenly somebody asked me for help with wording on a scroll and it opened up a flood thing. I, my, the form of that I've used for many years has been my strongest form has been the sonnet. And, I had, and in the course of an afternoon, it was a, a 40, 46 line ballad, a sonnet, and also a, haik, a haiku, <laughs> all having to do with the fact of things that happen on rainy days. And that was something very fresh and caught, caught my Baron Baroness's attention. And what I will be breaking out is actually like the fourth or fifth piece that I had done, which I had written at summer's end, uh, after that pensive. Uh, what, and sometimes when you find inspiration in your sight, in this case, this was uh, in a church area where, where bells were starting to ring, starting to peal. And they just led me to, to the following. Whence call the bells of dawn to hock in the, day, the wake of day, to dry the dew to quench lawn that bids us all to play? While cook and baker doth prepare bread, meats, fowls, and greens and such who make a repast beyond compare with blades to cut to dice and mince out ah, quince. Other blades do ride midst the grass that hold the turning field with halberds and swords do they make hard proving who will stand and who shall yield. Others hone their deadly craft upon the hillock yonder, casting axe, spear, blade, and arrow shaft, with lethal aim beyond wonder. Artisans play more peaceful trade, fly more peaceful trades, their hands, voices, eyes, and hearts, have with loving industry made that which helps us play our part. Royalty, like the sun, hath a part to play in that and all that occurs about the land, dispensing right and equity through the day with just and wise command. As the sun completes its journey from east to west, victors and vanquished retire from penny, having sorted the least and best. Retire us now to the dining hall where cooks present the feast, and regale and revels, and tales told tall, and all are seated upon, sated upon the fatted feast. Then to our abodes, to rest and dwell, after the sun seeds its last light, against the call of the dark, this knell, and bid us all a fun good night.